ton of confidence coming in to this matchup. First pitch in is low for ball one to Houston. Another 0-2 pitch on the way. That one's turned inside out to center field. It's going to drop down for a base hit. So Adam Tellier able to get an 0-2 base hit, an 0-1 count. Runner goes. Throw down is popped out of the glove. So Tellier takes second, Cook, the throw from Cook. Slider changeup combo when he needs to get his ground ball. Oh, and he gets the cold strikeout when they caught looking, the runner stranded. One more to tie his career high. Ball's popped up in the air, right side of the outfield. It's lost in the lights. They can't see it, it drops down. Martini's heading for third, slides in safely. Wow, Gabby, they lost it in the lights. And they lost it right away, and you saw it. Contact on this baseball. Swing and a miss, not this time. First strikeout for Chase Burns tonight. Rarely throw it. He likes going, like you said, that fastball slider mix. That one bounces away from Gill. Martini's going to come home to score, so Virginia Tech Takes a one to nothing lead. They didn't need the base hit. The pass ball will do. But that's the toughness where in that situation, that pitch, I'm surprised he didn't go fastball. That one's on the ground. The toss to Burns for the out. Going right after these hitters. Swing and a miss through strike three. The second strikeout of the night. Hey, it's 3-0. That one misses too far inside, so King works the walk. This is what you get, 3-2. A pitch missing inside as well, so back-to-back -back walks issued by Renfro. That one's left up, so three walks issued to load the bags. Nelson taps it on the ground to second base. They go over, they get the out at second. The run comes home and the runner at first is safe. So the freshman gets the RBI to tie it up. He taps that one to short. Grady goes to second, they get the out, close play. Holding his body for long season for a 100 pitch outing. He gets the swing and miss for the strikeout, his second of the frame. You're not going to really hit him. I'm going to just sit on that fastball. And can't hold his swing. They're going to throw down. So Chase Burns with a quick one, two, three inning. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Where he was driving the ball and he was ready to hit. Kurtz drives that pitch to deep center field to the trees. Nick Kurtz, yes you can. He puts Wake Forest ahead two to one in the top of the third. My goodness, well he missed his last AB by just a little bit, but he did not miss this one. Three and one, it's an elevated fastball. And Nick Kurtz tells you why he is one of the best hitting players in NCAA. This was a no doubter to center field. That's what's really impressive when you talk about a guy like Nick Kurtz. He doesn't try to pull the home runs because he knows I've got plenty of power. And not only that, I can go over the trees in center field much. He was walking and then expanding. Now he's bringing back into the zone. That one in the zone for a strikeout. A ton of other family members who have come through and played baseball in different places. Gets a hold of that one to right field, and it's gone. Wow, Jake Reinish got all of that one. Another home run, two in the frame. Wake Forest up three to one. Wow, Reinish did not miss that fastball. Seventh home run of the season with two strikes, and boy, he hit that ball a long, long way. Pretty swing, backside driving through the baseball, and you can tell that goes down, start the trot, 
I know this one is out of here. You see the scoreboard, and that ball goes over it. Works the leadoff walk. But in guy's mind, if I put that bat out there and I take it back, it might mess with you. Grady with the line drive, drops it into right field. Now Virginia Tech's got runners on first and second. Easily go ahead and intentional walk somebody to load up the bases and maybe put yourself in a position to get a double play. Yeah, that's what they're going to do to Carson Demartini. Swing and a miss through the pitch. Burns gets him two away. Uh, gets a hold of that one, drives it into right field. Grand slam. Micheletti gets the job done and puts the Hokies ahead. Boy, Nick Letty comes up huge. 3 0, gets a fastball, same pitch on 3 1, but he's ready for it. And boy, does he do it big as he drives it over that fence. Grand slam. Oh, big pitch from Burns to get out of it. Now it's hot, and I want you to get him back into this dugout. Not exactly what you want to do. Hits Cameron Gill. Now Gill got hit by pitch. And there's another free pass on a 3-2 count that is so similar to what we saw in the second inning. That one's driven into center field. It's going to get down. They're sending the runner. He's going to stand up and score the slide over at third base. Also safe. So Cameron Gill scores. Cam Nelson will land on third. Wake Forest gets one back. Pops that pitch up into right field. Micheletti makes the catch. Nelson tags from third. No play at the plate. We got a tie ball game. Owens in the dirt. Houston takes off. Safe. His patience pays off. He works the walk. Still a tie ball game. And he drives that ball down the left field line. Fair ball. One run's going to come home. The blade at the plate. The slide safe. He gives Wake Forest a two run lead. It's 7 5 Demon Deacons. Well, that's just a good job of hitting by Jack when a. It's a heater, it's down, he stays on it, and drives it down that left field line. Impressive to keep it fair, because that ball was in, he turned on it, but kept his hands close to his body to keep that ball fair. How about Nick Kurtz, though, scoring all the way from first, and then you gotta <laughs> love the slide at the end. They're sending him, there he comes, there he goes. Ripped down the line as well. They're going to wave home Wene. Reinish heads for second. Wake Forest leads eight to five. But they didn't. They have that confidence in themselves to be able to come back. A little confidence there for Jacob Exum, who gets the strikeout. Oh, it is disgusting in the best way possible. The tank. Swing and a miss for back-to-back -back strikeouts for Chase Burns. He's hit by a pitch in the fourth. Ended up scoring that one. Comes right back to Exum. Gets him on the backside, and they're unable to make a play. Let's see the fingers wiggling. He takes off. What a jump he got. The slide, he's past the bag. They tag him out. Wow, he slides past the bag. Pitch gets the strikeout, another one added to his tally. You look at his last game against UNC that he lost. 
That's what he was doing a whole bunch of. He wasn't throwing that first strike, and now he is. There it is, his 10th strikeout of the night. It burns, baby, it burns. Unbelievable job. We're going to the sixth inning. Maybe they don't want to see that as much. People taking offense, but listen, when you're throwing 96, you can strut off the mound when you've got 11 strikeouts in the game. He's not doing it towards anybody. He wanted the call, didn't get it. Straight to that secondary pitch. Swing and a miss for the strikeout, the strut, his 12th strikeout in this ball game in this conference. And when it comes to cold strikes plus, plus whiff percentage, he hits a batter. That doesn't feel good, does it, from Chase Burns? It's at 42.5%. Back-to-back pitches, gets the strikeout. This point in the season. Swing and a miss. 14, tying his season high. Swing and a miss. Strutted off Chase Burns, a career high. 15 strikeouts. Ashman working really impressive at bats. Another full count. He watches the strike though. Stretch gets the K because the pitching has gotten so much better too. And that one nibbles and catches back-to-back -back strikeouts for Stretch. Where everybody thinks they are strikes and he's done a great job framing. Adam Tellier on the ground to third. Martini with the throw over the tag by Ebel for a quick one, two, three inning for Virginia Tech. We Swing and a miss. Out goes for a strikeout. Very, very good UNC ball club. Well, we're going to put you on this list. Prove us wrong. Karen Azero works the walk. I'll take anything. That one misses, so back-to-back -back walks. Out of the ball game, and you're just continuing to battle. Watson drives that ball. It dies in the air to right. Canizero tags, advances to third. There's two away. Rising player, John Sheff said. Ball's in the air to center field. Cam Nelson, this time making the grab. One out walk to Winnet. All right, so that one's gonna miss. Rhinish is gonna take first, so Wake Forest has runners on first and second for Seaver King. Oh, he gets him again. He goes back to back to back for the strikeout. Two away for the Hokies. Wake Forest would love an insurance run. Pitch is inside, so three walks issued. Just give me a hit, no homers. Swing and a miss, no hits or homers there. Wow, bases loaded and Crowell gets out of the jam. They've utilized a lot for Wake Forest Penn. He goes up and gets the strikeout though, one away. It's cold in Blacksburg tonight. The pitch is filthy, two away. Back to back strikeouts for Gunther. Misses outside. A two out walk to Clay Grady, turns the lineup over. That's in the air, left field. Williams there, makes the catch. And that's gonna do it. Wake Forest comes back to win this ball game, eight to five. A pretty loud win. Chase Burns, a career high 15 strikeouts. Mm-hmm.